Okay, we have a really quick video today. We're going to be taking a look at Booleans, so true or false, as well as comparison operators in Python. So let's start it off Booleans. So Booleans basically return either true or false. Nice and simple. And then we also have our comparison, comparison operators which is our way of essentially comparing different data types or, or different data to see if they're equal to each other, greater than, smaller than, not equal to it. And so there's a bunch of different ones. So let's, uh, let's actually get right into it and showing you how it all works together. So first of all, we're gonna look at true. And as you can see, it lights up green because it's a built-in uh, built part of Python. Enter, you'll see true pop up. Remember, it has to be uppercase because if I go lowercase true, the name true is not defined. It thinks I assigned it to something. Same thing with false, uppercase. And if you go lowercase, false is not defined. So remember uppercase when it comes to your true or false. And for example, if you were to use type and you would type in, let's say false, you'll see bool as in Boolean. Okay, easy enough. So how can we utilize this Boolean as these true or false and how does it compare to these comparison operators? So let's start off with some really basic ones. So if I have the number one using the greater than sign, so what is basically comparison is one greater than two, I search or I press enter and I see that it is false. Vice versa, well, what the, weird. I think my brace hit a button, that's fine. We can, we'll, we'll keep going. So is one less than two, so we're using the, uh, the opposite direction there, it's now true we can also see if something is equal to something. So in Python, when you want to see something's equal, it is actually two equal signs. So one equals one, for example, we see that it is true. So again, two equal signs. If I already one, does one equal two? We'll see false, easy enough. You can also utilize uh, greater than or equal to. So is two greater than or equal to one? It is, it's greater than. So we can also do is to uh, greater or sorry, less than or equal to equal to one, we'll see that it is false, which makes sense. Two is less than one, it's not equal to one. Let's clear this out, Let's keep lots of space. We can also see if something does not equal something. So the way to do the does not equal is to use the exclamation point. So we'd go two, does two not equal one? It is true because two does not equal one. We can also show does two not equal two? No, of course not, because two equals two. Something to keep in mind. This also works for strings. So let's say I had high, does high equal hello? And as you can guess, it's false. Of course, high does not equal hello. However, does high equal high? We can see that yes, high does equal high. 